Hey guys, Shao Sao here. I got another video here for you. Um, I'm gonna be quick about this because I'm actually in the middle of an edit. Now, one of my past videos, I talked about having my own uh, dedicated SSD card for your own your media cache and preview files, right? Uh, and as you can see here, pretty much uh, it's already filled up pretty pretty badly. So I'm starting to get like uh, you know uh, render errors when I'm trying to do previews on Premiere Pro. I'm trying to like go in here. And delete some files but I'm having an error and I'm going to show you what it is see if I delete that and it sees that you know delete this sure and then it's like boom this file path is too long and I can't delete it so pretty much all this are files I cannot delete and the thing is that like yeah supposedly if you check the properties it doesn't detect any file size but as you can see, it is taking up a lot of, you know, storage storage data and like I cannot delete them, right? Now, one way that I found to do this is... Now, one way to do to delete these files is you can actually download 7-zip if you like. And then pretty much open up 7-zip, click on one of the files, and then you can, uh, then you're able to, you know, rename it whatever. And then from here, you know, you can delete it and, you know, there you go. Because, you know, what the long file name, you're not able to. However, like all these files, they have like 5 to 10, like, you know, file names that are too long. And to go individually one by one, it'll be a fucking nightmare to delete, right? So, uh, trying to figure out how to delete like multiple files, uh, I found this website where, you know, they tell you what you can do. I actually tried this method where I have to change the register. Of the computer to um, allow longer edits or longer names i'll have the link to this um website so you can uh, read more into it but from what i'm reading from the comments here of you know people chatting is that uh the reason why files get way too long names is because um there's too much subfolders inside subfolders and subfolders that it creates you know a bunch of characters right so uh i mean in my case you know you know, already this thing is called media cache files and then inside you know I'm trying to be organized I have another folder that says Adobe media and cache files I click on that so now I have another folder where I separate everything from Adobe Bridge Premiere Pro to Adobe After Effects you know clicked on that now it creates another subfolder this it didn't create you know Adobe created by itself then it double click that and now it created more folders inside of that folder so pretty much you know it creates like a long string of subfolders inside subfolders and subfolders so they pretty much you end up with a file name that's freaking too long and you know it becomes corrupt so you end up with a file name that's freaking long because you know you're inside of a cell phone or a folder and I don't know it just gets jacked up so anyways um, I'm pretty screwed in the sense that um, I'm gonna have to like reformat this uh, SSD card um, that way I can completely erase everything so uh, this kind of this video is more of a warning if you know uh, if you are trying to keep your, your cache files organized to you know find them and delete them, don't create too many subfolders like I did. <laughs> so pretty much what I'm gonna do now is pretty much you know I'm gonna clean this uh, SSD card, you know completely for reformat it. I'm gonna still use it as my media cache files, you know uh, storage, but I'm only gonna create like one subfolder in this window, right? I'm not gonna create like multiple folders. You know, trying to keep everything all organized, you know, because that's what I thought I was doing, you know. But from what it looks of it, you know, Windows 10, it has certain quirks that you need to follow by. And this is one of them that I didn't know about. So, whatever. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. Um, that's basically it for this video. It's kind of like a little warning. So, uh, just a recap. Definitely, it's a benefit to have a dedicated storage for your media and cache files. You know, if you're able to do that. If not, again, create a folder where you're able to find them, you know, easily so you can, like, have access to them and delete them. But again, you know, don't create too many subfolders because, you know, then you could end up with corrupt files with too long names and you're going to have a hard time deleting them. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. Definitely hope it helps and, yeah, take care. Peace.